on the floor for some of these movements. So uh, let's just get warmed up. And unfortunately, there's no music for you. Um, Zoom does not allow us to, it, it won't pick up the sound. It just comes in as garbled and confusing. So uh, if you're coming in and you can't see me, if you're on a phone or a device like that, swipe it until you see me. And if you are on a computer and you want a bigger version of me, <laughs> I don't want a bigger version of me. Um, you can hit, choose the option to um, highlight the speaker. So because my audio matches my picture, I will be the biggest picture in the window, okay? That's if you're on a computer. So you got four of these, three, two, take it down to squat, so drop the arms, bring it here. So today's format is going to be, I need to find my timer. Today's format is going to be two exercises eight reps of each, we're gonna bounce those back and forth in a two minute window. So pace is entirely up to you. Uh, you only have to remember the two exercises or watch me, let's change to lunges here. And that will keep you moving and keep you working for the two minute duration. And if we do it right, we should be able to get through this cycle uh, three times from top to bottom, okay? So just a couple more of these. Good, and then curtsy side to side, right here. Good, so just getting a little deeper, trying to get the outside edge of the glutes warmed up and the hip joints at the same time. We got four, three, two. Good, now bring it up, give me some small little jump ropes. So just shaking it out, think about loosening up upper body, you can kind of have some floppy arms if you want. All right, folks, I just need my timer. Okay, good, so just this is just gonna loosen up. We're not trying to make this hard work at this point. You got four, three, we're gonna take it to some low jacks right here. So big arms, small legs, still getting warm, but we want those shoulder joints to activate and warm up as well as a bit of the chest and the back with this movement. Lots of stuff working in the chain of muscles as opposed to just one group. Good, we got four, three, two, and last one we're gonna do is speed skates. So we did the curtsy lunges, but now we're gonna pick up the pace on this one. Good. Four, three, two, good, last one right there. Okay, so just march it up. First set of exercises, super simple. Higher or low impact is up to you. You're gonna go jump squats and speed skates. Eight reps of each, you're just gonna bounce that back and forth. So for just example here, jump them, make them big, make them small, or body weight them, and just keep the impact out, and then skates for eight total or eight per side, it's up to you. You got two minutes to think about it and we're gonna hit this one a few times through. All right, jump squats and skates. Three, two, one, when you're ready, get it going. Right there, eight jump squats. And then eight skates, single counting or double counting. I think I'm gonna double count mine just to get a little more warm up in there. I might shorten it up as the rounds get shorter or as we get closer to the end for that challenge. So eight and eight, just remember that. Squats, any variety, and then skates. You can make these harder by taking them lower or jumping them more, it's up to you. I think that was eight. I lost count. One minute to go. Remember, low impact is here. You're just looking for pace. You're gonna make the arms bigger. And you'll, we'll be coming back around 
you that one. So if you don't remember the variety or the options, I will give you those cues again. Oh, 20 seconds to go. You got this. Ten seconds. You got three, two, one. Nice work. Transitioning to the next one. So you're going to get into this sumo squat position. Hands behind the head. And you're trying to get knee or elbow down towards the knee. You do not have to get to the knee. But you want to think obliques, tight belly. Eight of those and then up to lunge jumps for eight, or touching back for eight. All right, we got five, four, three, two, let's go. And I am really trying to get that range of motion in there and get as big as I can with it. You go wherever you feel works for you. If that back is still feeling tight from sitting for most of the day, then make it smaller. Don't go as deep. Okay, right there. This is your option. Whew. Try to work on that muffin top. And I am, in fact, double counting those lunge jumps. Okay, I'll give you that low impact version in a second. It's right here. So I'm staying kind of crouched down. Okay? And I'm going to touch back eight times with each foot. That might have been eight. Right there. How are we doing, folks? We got one minute to go on this cycle. Good. to go. Woo, these ones are feeling good. Better. Every time I get to them. 30 seconds. God. Keep working it. I think that might have been extras in there. I don't know. 10 seconds. You're almost there. Two, one. Good. Resting for 30 while we prep for the next one. So the next one, we're good. We got pulse squats. So you're going to keep them as low as you can. Proud chest here, squat it down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so mid range, tighten it up. And then mountain climbers. So here, Knees to the chest. If you have trouble being on the wrists or the shoulders, you're up tall, okay, or low impacts right there. You must, must, must put the arms in if you're going low impact, okay? That's where you get your heart rate. We're five seconds over, so it's time to start. Three, two, one, go. Pulse squats. Keep it low. Nice, little tight squeeze there for eight, and then I'm hitting the deck for mountain climbers. And I am double counting these, which means I'm getting rep counts per leg as opposed to total counts between the two. And you might get smart and slow those squats down so you don't have to do as many mountain climbs. Remember on mountain climbs, keep that neck nice and long and keep those shoulders rolled away from the ears. One minute, 15 to go. Hang in there. Less than half, or less than a minute to go. Over halfway. Remember the standing up version? Low impact is here. And I'm going to challenge that pace if I'm here. 
trying to make it move quickly without the mounts. One more time each side. Down to those squats. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Hang in there. Ten seconds to go. Dang, I was hoping to skip those mountain climbers. I always do that. There's time, right there. Okay, take a second. So last one in the cycle. A little more tricky. Uh, we're going to do four reps of the first, eight reps of the second. You are going to be down on the ground inevitably at some point in this one. So you will need your, your mat or your towel or blanket, whatever you've got close by. You can also do this with or without a weight if you have something handy. Don't worry about it. You'll have a little bit of time to sort that out before the next round. Bottom half of the burpee. So you keep this low. Okay, nice deep squat. Plant the hands, feet back, bring it up, touch up. Okay, low impact here, back, back, in, in, back to that really deep, athletic, ready position. Four of those, and you're gonna sit. If you've got weight, great, use the weight. If you don't, just really think about like, touch the hand, touch the hand, touch the hand. Okay, and I double count those. So I get lots of time on those twists. Hard work for those four burpees. All right, that was extra rest time. Tough set with these burpees in here. Do what works for you. You have to just put the burpee to a jump squat, go to a jump squat. You got three, two, one, four, bottom half of the burpee, four or eight twists. I mean, if you really wanna jack this one up to eight, by all means, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you. And I, I am double counting these. Good. 30 seconds in, that gives you some gauge. pace. So if you're feeling like you got to stop and rest for a second to keep things working with the best possible form, you just rest long enough to get back into it. Less than a minute to go. You can put a push up in at the bottom here if you want. Almost there. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Oh darn, I ran out of time for that last burpee. Okay, you got one whole minute to grab a, drink, a quick drink. Make sure you got what you need. If now's the moment you wanna grab a weight if you didn't have one close by, you got time. Okay, we go back up to the top of the list, starting with the jump squat, speed skate combination. Okay, so, Remember, you got those variations. Get that full jump. Okay, you can tuck jump it, your choice, or body weights, and just go as quick as you can. And skates are in that combination. 15 seconds, and we start again. Oh, mop my brow there. All right, five, four, 
eight and eights, squats and skates. Go, right there. Remember on that squat, everything from the pubic bone to the shoulders, tight and strong. Okay, support that movement through the pelvis and those lower abdominal muscles, and then power it up through the legs. Double or single count the skates, it's up to you. Nice work, I can see some of you on the live, looking good. Halfway, right there, just a little shy of one minute. I keep finding myself going to 10 on things instead of eight. Try to keep the eight count. Gosh, we're almost there. Three, two, one. Excellent. 30 seconds here before we start that next cycle. This one is those oblique crunches and the lunge jumps. Again, mobility should be a little better this time. Don't tip it forward. Body's tall. Trying to stay in a straight line as you come over. All right. We got five. Four, three, two, go. Sink it low, keep it straight from here to here. I was always drawing a line on the ceiling. Shoot, I lost count there. That's probably it. Lunge jumps or quick touchbacks, your choice. High or low impact. Whenever we're going low impact, we're always adding the arms. Okay, don't forget the arms. That's where you get heart rate without hitting those joints hard with the movement that bounces and jars. One minute, 15 to go. <laughs> I did 10, again. Nice strong body on these two guys, those oblique crunches. Think about like contracting the shoulders and the upper back. Like get some isometric work in there, which means you're getting, you're flexing and tensing and then pushing through the obliques. Okay, nice strong upper body means beautiful posture as we age. 30 seconds to go. Good, hang in there. 10 seconds. Two, one, good. 30 seconds to set up for the next cycle. So that next one is the pulses for eight and the mountain climbers for eight or the tall uh, elbows to knees up. Okay, super quick drink, so got 15 seconds. The in-between motion is high knee runs too, so if you're not in a 
plank position, that one probably give you the high your arms as well. You got three, two, eight pull squats, eight mountain climbs, go. Low, push the tension. Okay, really, really get it in there. Okay, and then take it down. Nice full range of motion with the legs either way and shake it out. I'm kind of savoring these ones. I'm liking this here. I'm going to slow these bad boys right down and take my time with them. Hang in there. You got one minute 20 to go. minute mark right there, so one down, one to go. I'm going to hit my low impact for one here. Nice work. 40 seconds. That burn, I love it. Feels good. 30 seconds. seconds. Ten. Ooh, there it is. Two minutes on the clock. All right. Back to that burpee. That bottom half of that burpee. And the twists. Okay. So really low athletic ready. Burpeed out back to that low athletic ready, or step, step, in, in, or a jump squat. If you're taking the jump squat option, take it for eight reps. Bottom half of the burpees, four reps, and then the twists are eight per side. We got three, two, one, go, let's hit it. You're also welcome to put a push up at the bottom of the burpee. If you feel so inclined, we'll slow down the number of times you get through the round. Remember, always low. You've got form really nice and sharp. So if you're taking that push up, put it at a level that makes sense for you. doing guys hanging in there one minute to go Twenty seconds. Five seconds. Good. Rest. That's the end of the cycle. So we're going to speed through one more time. So what I mean by that is we're going to drop our work periods down. Okay. So 
we're gonna go one minute splits, okay? Nice and quick. So you're not gonna have a lot of time, but what we're going to do is not take the breaks. So we're going right back to the top, jump squats to speed skates for one minute, then we'll go into the standing oblique crunches with the lunge jumps, bang, 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 okay? So four minutes of work, we're gonna push through, we'll finish with just a little smidge of stretching, and we'll be off to the races for the rest of the afternoon. All right, you guys ready for this? Take those variations where they are or where you need them. I'll try to remind you as we go. One minute's not a lot of time. Jump squats or body weight, quick as you can for eight. Balancing that back and forth with speed skates. Three, two, one, go. Right there. Eight of them. And skate. And if you want to single count the skates so that you're cycling faster, by all means, Okay, it's up to you. If you're like, no way, I need that skate time. Keep the heart rate in a range that makes sense for me. That's what you do. Otherwise, pound it. Halfway through the minute, right there. Keep that heart rate. You should feel it, it should be working. Coming up on 10 seconds here, you got 12, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, right into the standing up leaks. Ah, right there. Low, 2, 3, 4. I'm going for 8, and then let's jump in it. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm not going to double count. I want more time for obliques. If you want to double count the jumps because that's where you want the work, go for it. Again, keep that form clean. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty. Next one is those pole squats and the mountain climbs. You got five, four, three, two, pull squats right there. And then mountain climb it when you're ready. Get ready to transition in eight, seven, to the bottom half of the burpee and the twist. There it is. Go. And I'm single in this one up too. So I can get back to those burpees. seconds to go. Fifteen seconds. And there is time. Right there. Nice work. So don't stop still, okay? Take a second, more than a second. Take a few seconds and walk around, okay? 
it's really difficult for the body to like work it hard and then just shut it down. Okay, we want to give it time to kind of come into some natural recovery. All right. So move around, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. So hopefully you're starting to feel that heart rate come down. Okay, just stand here for a second, shift the hips, roll the shoulders. Good, kind of sweep them forward to back. So just trying to undo anything where we were down in that plank position. Okay, I want you to slowly bring yourself down to the floor. Okay, we're gonna stretch hip flexors, flexors first. So, kneeling position, if you can, coming up. Now, if this is best for you, then I want you to tuck that back toe under so that that foot's flat and think about tucking the glute under. If you have a little more flexibility and you're more comfortable coming forward like this, bring the hands to the floor. By all means, either way, but really, we really wanna open up those hip flexors because we've worked them, they got used a lot for things in this, group, in this uh, um, stream of exercises. And if you go back and sit down for the rest of the afternoon or your evening or whenever you're doing this, you really want those to be straight, lengthened out and uh, not getting short and tight. Tight hip flexors lead to sore backs. So we don't want a sore lower back. We want the right muscles to work when we need them to. And we want to recover just the right way. Good. Let that go. I'm going to take you down onto your mat on your side. Okay. Laying down. Top leg. Get a hold of the shoelaces if you can. Settle that knee back down close to the other leg and push your your hip forward. So now we're gonna get length down the whole quadricep. And you're gonna hold that as long as you feel like you need it. So if, you, if you're like, I'm good, switch legs, go to the other side. If you feel like, you know what, this side, I just need a little more time, take it. Uh, when I first started teaching fitness 10 years ago, it was always like, oh, you hold a stretch for 20 seconds. I can honestly tell you there's no right number. There's what your body tells you. And if you kind of listen and pay attention, you'll know when that body's like, okay, that's good. Especially if you need something more, take the time to do it. Okay, from here, when you're ready, you'll release, laying flat on the back, putting one ankle onto the opposite knee, reaching through and getting a hold of that leg. Okay, if you have a hard time getting a hold of that leg, you can kind of hang on to this foot and pull, but what we're trying to do is stretch out the piriformis, which is um, underneath the glute muscles. So we're trying to kind of like lengthen that, those gluteals out and get the piriformis, which is underneath, to kind of get some length in it. When that feels good, that ankle that you have sitting on your opposite knee, I want you to take it straight up for a second. You can support it with your hand the, on that same side and let it lengthen out for a second so you're getting some inner thigh stretch. If you don't need that, you can put the foot all the way down, but you want to keep both your butt cheeks on the floor on this one. Okay, so if you're tipping over, then you got to take that hand and support a little bit. If you had yoga blocks or something, you can use your support with that too, but we don't, we don't require those for this workout, so take your time. When, you, when that feels good, you're going to bend that knee, bring it over, sit that foot on the mat, put your opposite foot onto that knee, and bring that side up. And you'll probably notice you've got a side that's tighter than the other. For me, it's amazing. I do the exact same exercises both sides, but this side is always tighter for me. So I find when I get into this stretch, it's a little painful at the beginning. I never push to the point where it's sharp and painful, but I definitely notice tightness. So if you're, if you're finding that in these stretches, give that one side that doesn't feel as mobile and ready to move into the stretch. Give it a little more time to get there and give it a little more love. Just make, be no, like make note of it and be mindful of it and stretch it when you get the chance. I'm gonna slowly release that bottom leg, take that other, that one that's been resting on that knee. I'm gonna let it go out to the side and stretch out my inner thigh. I 
And strangely enough, my inner thigh on this side is not tight, it's just the glute. So again, I know that's probably just an imbalance. You wanna just pay attention to that and try to take some extra time to stretch that glute out for myself later today. You're gonna slowly bend that knee, bring it in, bring the knees to the chest, rock the body side to side, giving that lower back just a little bit of a massage and lengthening out. And you wanna think of this movement, if you can tug those legs up, and even if you have to hang on behind, the, um, behind on the hamstrings instead of hanging on to the fronts of the shins. You wanna imagine making some space between each of the vertebrae in that lumbar spine, that lower back, lengthening it out and then massaging it by pressing it into the mat or the floor, rocking side to side. So it can kind of push some of that inflammation if you've got it there or just excess fluid. We wanna kind of like squeeze it out to like a steamroller. Okay, slowly release that. You can come up to standing. And that is it, folks. We are done for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy your afternoon. Hopefully you get out into the sun and uh, take care of yourselves.